If you want a good example of why Jacob Truba hits are so dangerous, let's watch this hit by Jake McCabe on Matthew Kachuk. It's literally the Jacob Truba playbook. Approach, rotate to the right, cock down into a low stance, push off back left foot while swinging right foot out, and rising up with the right shoulder, and then pushing off the ice. Now, if Kachuk had kept going, this would have looked great. He would have skated right into that. And we would have said, wow, what a great hit through the core right there if they hit. But Kachuk slows up and leans back. And McCabe goes up and right over where Kachuk's head would have been, where he would have gone right through his head. But this is what I mean when I say even if a player stays on the ice when contact happens... He explodes enough that he would have gone off the ice if that player wasn't there to stop him. And you can't rely on your opponent to keep your feet on the ice. Now, he obviously doesn't launch too much. He recognizes what's happening and he kind of softens up on the push. Otherwise, he'd have gone right over top of Kachuk. I bet you Jacob Truba would have. But he still explodes enough that he keeps on going up when there's nothing there to stop his upward motion. Nothing there to counter the force. Look at how nice this check would have been if he had just glided into it. Look how low he gets. Shoulder down almost below the chin, even though Kachuk is down, bent low. And then right at moment of contact, boom, pops up. Can't have it.